Higher gas prices and a rough economy fail to put the brakes on holiday travel. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. Patrice Dayton has the night off. Memorial Weekend has officially begun, and with that, holiday travelers are hitting the roads. News 10's Jessica Hayes spoke with folks today as they pass through Indiana. We're from Michigan, and we're on our way to Oklahoma. From Indiana to Illinois, in all points north, south, east, and west, folks like Wanda and Wilma are on vacation. We're going to hit um, Oklahoma, uh, Cherokee Nation, and then we're going to go on through New Mexico, and just as far as we can get... That's as far as we're going to go. If, if we go to the coast, then that's where we're going to head. They say last year the recession left them strapped for cash. The economy was bad. Spending Memorial Day close to home. But an economic rebound this year has them heading cross country. More than 32 million Americans will travel this holiday weekend. Many of them through the Wabash Valley right here on I-70. That's an increase of over 2 million people from last year. And even though gas prices are down from recent highs, prices are 35 cents above where they were last year. Even still, these two said they were getting out of town this year. This year is a great year for us. Work has gone really great, and so we figured this go. One constant from 2009 to 2010. You have your license and registration where I can see it real quick? Really yeah. cracking yeah. down on people. Increased police patrols for the holiday weekend. Over Memorial Day weekend last year, Illinois saw 30 car accident related fatalities. Indiana saw Five, its second deadliest holiday of the year. State police in both states increased patrols this weekend and are in the middle of click it or ticket campaigns. I didn't get 10 minutes from my home and there were seven cops pulled over seven cars. So if you are in travel mode this weekend, buckle up and take your time getting to wherever your travels take you. With photojournalist John Tim, Jessica Hayes, News 10. And not everyone is driving to their memorial destination. AAA estimates more than 4 million people will take a plane, train, bus, or boat to their final stop.